Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to play with fire. For our free template of the month, we have this template that has all these different fire shapes that you can drag onto your pictures and play with. All you have to do is go to our website, easydigitals.com, and click on the sign up for our email, and you can download this free template. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to open up my first picture. Okay, so this is the first example I want to show you of what you can do to play with the fire. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Now I'm going to turn this off and just show you how this was accomplished. So basically, I just come over and I choose which fire I want to use for this. Even though it's a baseball picture, I'm going to use this, this football. And I'm just going to drag it onto my picture that I'm working with. And it's going to ask, am I sure I want to convert? And I'm going to say yes. It's not always going to do that, but it does do it for this particular one. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to size it. So I'm pressing my shift and I'm just, I'm just to keep the aspect ratio. But in this particular case, you can actually change if I wanted to drag it out or drag it up. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and press enter. Now, as you can see, the fire is a little bit over the ball. So what I can do is I can come in here and click on my mask tool and then make sure that the black is on top here so reset it here switch it here and then I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna press my right bracket key to make, get it larger and I have a soft bristled brush and I'm just gonna go around this and just kinda clear out the areas that I want to show and then if I take off too much I can just switch this and add a little bit back and I can you can really change this any way you want you can warp it again you might need to modify your mask if you do that switch and just scoot that to the right a little bit and adjust it okay now let's say I wanted to change the rotation I can just grab this little corner here and I can rotate this any way I want so you can have it go up down and then when you get it situated how you want it you just press enter now if you happen to think that this is too intense you can always double click on the layer bring this over a little bit and then you can just lower the opacity or raise it another thing you can do is you can come here and you can play with the different options here, hard light, you can just press control and arrow down and just look at all the different options and how they look. That one's kind of fun screen. Just go through them all. And another thing you can do with this is you can come up here to transform and you can either click on perspective or warp or distort and you can just change uh, the way it looks and change the perspective, make it get wider. That's kind of neat. And then you can do warp. And that is one where you can just do all kinds of stuff with it. Warp it all different ways. And then press enter when you're done. Okay, I'm done with this one for now, so I'm going to just go ahead and close it out. And I'm going to pull up another one, just for a picture that's maybe where the person's standing still and you just want fire is here. And I'm going to turn off the layer, and I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm just going to drag it over, and it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to zoom out. And I've got my corner here, shift, and I'm just going to put it into perspective here. And you can, again, you can play with this any way you want. And you can mask off parts that you don't want to show. 
you can um, actually have a little bit of fun with this. And if you know a hothead, then you can actually put the fire right on their head. Oh, I did want to show you if you have one of them and you think the intensity, you would want the intensity to be increased, you can just duplicate this layer and it's just going to make it a little bit more intense, as you can see. Okay, and I just want to show you one more, which is this one. And this just shows you that you can take some, you could like recreate some words like this and you could put the fire behind it. This is just the football fire right here and I just added it behind these words and tilted it. And then this bottom fire. So I'm just gonna, you just drag it in there. Over, that's how we accomplished this one. Just drag it over and it's, Right now it's going to be too big if I drag it over because this is a really low resolution picture. Hopefully your pictures will be higher resolution. But that's all there is to it and it's just kind of something fun to play with. And it's totally free if you go to easydigitals.com and click on the email sign up. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.